Oh, that's like oh God. You got the camera on? Oh, oh. oh what's that? Oh, that's that's got to be that's got to be a derringer. Alright guys, welcome to Peaky Dippers again. We've come down to a different bridge. We're still in the same town as where we had the Mighty Hall. Look out for next week's video. Oh, hang on, no, it'll be on by then, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, we've come down to the next bridge down. We're going to try it here. If not, then we'll go back down to the Gun Bridge again. So perhaps more might come out. All I've had here so far is some scaff bar and uh, another piece of bar. So I'm going to keep throwing here a little bit, see what comes up. Nice fine, Marie. Huh? What is it? Lock knife. Literally, third throw out. And I've just had a nice lock knife. Look at that. Well, yeah, little fishing knife. Smith and Wesson. Oh, it's a Smith and Wesson knife. Um, extreme Ops. There you go. And on the blade, it says Happy 18th. Mmm, nice. Unfortunately, we have to take the rough with the smooth and bring the trolleys out. I thought I was lucky enough to have one of them swords then when I first seen that bit, but not sure what that is. Whether it's off the original bridge. Right, I've called Glen over because I've just pulled out a bag and obviously the magnet stuck to it. So, you can do the honest Glen. <laughs> Feels like a lump of concrete, babe. Is it? Yeah, oh, I'm gone. These, I think, are car parts. All oh, right. Bear with okay. me. Oh, proper congested together. This is. I think the car parts, because I remember finding something like that the other week and mm. when I cleaned it off and researched it, <clears throat> it was to do with uh, a car, so it could be an old, bit of an old car. <clears throat> it's been there a while, but it well, Why do people throw them in a, in a bag? That's what I don't get. Another, another couple of them. Look, see, 
stuck together. We'll check through the bag dog, you never know. Yeah, same, same, same. Hmm, oh dear. It's uh, the same as well, I think. It's just all congealed together, you think? Yeah, to be fair, I forget what, the, what them off now. Hold on. That's a plastic bag. I thought that was silver then. Hold gone. I've got like a bit of a oh, plastic bag, I think. They're definitely off cars because I remember researching them. Why would you dump them all in a bag? Eh? <laughs> and then put them in the wood either. all waiting for the scrap man. Yeah, they're all the same, but there's nothing uh, There's nothing historical in there as such, except for old car bits, look. That's all it is. We've got an old padlock, that's ancient that. Nah. My god, it's actually a, an old love art padlock that one guys. Where you go? Please don't be a fence stopper. <laughs> You am kidding. So I've got the remains of an old knife. That would have been a class knife as well, look. Completely gone. Oh! What is it? It's got ridges around it. It's either a fence topper or a uh, a grenade I'd never seen. I'll have to ask Steve about that one. Bit of a bar, which looks like a very worn down chisel. And we've got that which has got a nozzle on. But look. Is that off an old fire extinguisher? Oh, put our side. And just your normal. Oh, I know what that is. What is it? That's a grenade puller. No. That's a grenade puller. Yeah. That's World War One, right there, guys. That's a grenade puller. So what they would have done with that is, it's obviously a bit. It's had it. I have actually got one of these at home intact. That have done that. And then they put that through the hoop and <laughs> throw on the grenade. So that's World War One. Yes! This is a very iconic item of trench warfare. A hook used by World War One soldiers to pull the rings out of Mills grenades. The World War One Mills grenade ring pulling tool is not only about safety, but also about precision. Its design enabled soldiers to confidently and reliably remove the safety pin without the uncertainty that may come with manual methods. This level of control is crucial in high stake situations. Manual removal of grenade pins could be risky, especially in tense situations. In the heat of battle, speed and efficiency were critical. I have also heard tales of these being used to move sandbags in the trenches and even as a trench fighting weapon. So there it is, a piece of history that once echoed with the sounds of conflict and the flames of war that now rests in Peaky's hands. Incredible. What is that? It's like a bit of fencing. I think it's one of them manholes. You know, put it around the manholes. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we've got an eye frame off a road sign and a frisbee. This 
Happy bird, dog. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, he's one old wheel. That could be off a munition cart. Find them right, what well, Steve was saying to me. That might nice, be nice to clean up that, to be fair. That's nice, that is. Yeah, I might take that back to clean that up. That's really nice. Can't let that go to waste. Just check if you've any coins. None on this one. Looks like a pair of forks. But we uh, has got that on. My guys, pair of very dirty goggles. Ooh. Morning guys, uh, this is some sort of very old, very old cash box. It's quite decorative and there was this padlock on the top. So if anyone has any ideas, just let us know. Back to reality. Metal bar. Uh, I can't see you on this one. What is that? Oh, I think that's the stick of here. There's your pin. Obviously, that. What happens is when you load these into the gun, there's like a, a chain basically that joins that pin. And then when it gets fired, pulls the pin. Oh, okay. Pulls gives it a second, seven second delay, yeah. and it blows up what it is. Is that a grenade? I think it's the remains of a, um, a stick grenade. Uh, I keep calling it a stick grenade. A rifle grenade, sorry. Yes. And I think the top piece is missing. It, it's a keeper. It's completely empty. But uh, I would found Steve on that. It is definitely brass. You can see the brass there, look. Yes. Yeah. And that wouldn't be brass for now. I either. agree with that, yeah. I think that's the pin to the well, detonator. Nice I'd found Steve on it just to be safe, but I think that's a keeper. That's and right. And I think that's you what it is. You can see the patina on it, can't you? Yeah. Pulls the pin. As it goes. Goes. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Supersonic speed, and then when it gets a bit strong. Mm. Perfect. Nice find, babe. Yeah, I found Steve. Yeah, I'm not coming loose. It's all like... Yeah, just rip it off because it's all empty. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. That's lovely. The number two Ailes grenade was a percussion-type grenade designed by Martin Ailes in 1907 and manufactured at the Cotton Powder Company. First used as a rifle grenade during the Mexican Revolution, the number two was initially rejected by the British Army before it was belatedly brought into service in 1915. After a shortage of the number one grenade, the British modified the number two grenade by replacing its rifle rod with a 16-inch long throwing handle and single cloth streamer. It was then modified again by fitting a 7-inch long handle, which enabled it to be fired from a rifle. The two variants were known as the number 2 Mark I and the number 2 Mark II, and were both used by the British Army until around 1916. Weighing one pound when complete and with a brass cylinder body, the grenade was stored in multiples of 10 per wooden box, with the same number of detonators stored in separate tins. Discovering such an historical piece is like uncovering a time capsule, giving us a deeper understanding of the world as it once was. I just pulled out the cash tin that's been in there ages, so I'll break it open. Empty. A grill. <laughs> Another piece of grill. 
Well guys, this has come off as well. Quite a nice axe. It's quite modern. Fiberglass shaft, but still a nice one. That's what we're going to do. That? It's a big key. What a shame the ring's, uh, the ring's gone. Oh, that's nice. It's big, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no, it sold two. Sold two weeks ago. What's it got? Oh, sorry. Uh, it looks like we're on sort of a bulldog. Oh, nice. There you go, boy. Can I get stuck on another one, Maria? I know, I was stuck, and bless Michael, oh, coming out. Oh, 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 oh. Out. I'll dine him off with the lights. Oh. oh, it's well and truly stuck on that. Thank you! No problem. Teamwork. Thanks Thank to dream work. <laughs> You know, it drains you. It does magnet fishing, I'm, I'm just drained. There you go guys, another bullet. Three out three I think it is, or seven six two. Fishing lure, very favourite. Marie. Oh thank you. Leave it there. Now, there's all sorts of magnets you can buy, but I'm gonna just gonna stick with my Evo. And this is why. You know how, how many times we've done this bridge already, and this stuff is still coming out. I don't know what it is, mate. So that there, guys, is off the bridge. It's got a piece of metal going through the lock, too. Right. Now this is uh, this is an experimental one. We've been checking on this. It's a one-off prototype. Uh, it's designed. To shoot underwater, it's like a stingray gun. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or it's just a piece of bar. But I think it's a prototype. I've just had a bucket handle, still got the clip on. There it is. Glenn says that's a half a crown, and I can't see it, so I can't even it's tell him whether it's right. Half a crown. I bet you it's about 19. Half a crown, yeah. So, uh, you know who wants to take that home, don't you? And it won't be me. <laughs> I, can, I can see a pattern. There's definitely a pattern. It's not half a crown. It's, it's half a crown. It's got like Chinese. I can't read it. It's half a crown. We've got Paul with his hands. We've got a 50 cal bullet. So I've had a 45 bullet. I think that's a 45. It's quite big, that. 
and I've had uh, I've had a piece of uh, shot as well. Nice. Right, so I've got myself a hard in here. Looks a what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> People. <laughs> nice old lantern. Oh, yeah, it's like. Oh, oh God. God. You got the camera on? Oh, oh. oh what's that? Oh, that's, that's got to be. That's got to be a derringer. Miles. There's something wrong with my magnets. It's pulling listening? the wrong stuff up. Do you remember listening to Bros on that? <laughs> no. Oh, it's a bloody. Oh, razor. it's a razor. <laughs> it's a lady shave. It's got all hair stuck in it. Look. <laughs> oh, it has as well. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that was a close shave, weren't it, Noise? Oh, it was. <laughs> You're fired! Good. <laughs> After about 17 attempts, finally got that out between us. This actually was in pristine condition when we first got it. It's wrecked now. But it's out of the water. Let's have that look. So I've had this. Now... Yeah. Oh. Because it's out of the river, that could potentially be God knows how old. Oh. Very fragile. I don't know if it's going to make it on, but we'll see. But I've just had this. And look at that baby. <gasps> Still in the holster. Oh my life. And uh, I can confirm by the handle, it is a Webley. So, yeah, World War II. Again, wow. just uh, the bridge of guns, my God. And we thought it was drying up today, but... And the sun's come out. <laughs> 18th hole. Flag. Good beat. Go on And... That! Which I haven't knocked off yet, so I don't know what it is. I'm ready, What's a shooter? Oh, it is as well. It's a water. Blank, is that, uh, was that in the blank, bag? Yeah. It's a blank fire. Blank fire, yep. So it's a keeper? It's a keeper. Well, not many more, he's broke it. <laughs> I didn't break it. Walter, CP99. Nice. Good find, Mike? It's now oh, that's part of the mag, isn't it? Yeah, so that's the top part of the mag look. So those, yeah, you have to fix it. Something like that. What's in the bag? There's anything else in the bag? No, the bag is empty. Fine, Michael. Mine's a fine. Camera. Right. Anyway, this. Right. So. I don't know. I don't know for definite, but I think it is. He says this is, is off a barbell cannonball. So it's got this bit here that's obviously broke. So there's something that was here, and and I just looked at that and said, it's a big knob, as in. A giant's <laughs> door knob, you know, as in, oh, no. open door. But, uh, nah, it's too heavy, it's solid, absolutely solid, that is. There's got to be three, four kilo there. That's heavy. I think it's one, I do think it's one. Right, we'll go with his suggestion. End of a barbell 
cannonball. What did you say it was cannonball? I the, the barbell one's more rounded. I don't like know. A ball, I don't like know. a ball. I think there's some concave ones as well. Bar shot. Bar shot. Yeah. yeah okay. I'm sure it is. Have a look. That. that came up in a lump of crud. It looked like nothing, didn't it, Glenn? Yeah. So you'd never have guessed that was inside it. It was a lump of just a well heavy lump of crud. And you wouldn't have known. Check your crud, everyone. Check your crud. We'll uh, do some more research, and you'll see maybe on the finds. It's an iPad. Oh, it's an Apple one as well. Uh, yeah, iPad, Apple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now there's a first. The screen looks like it's intact. Oh yeah. I mean, normally they smash the smithereens off. Oh, might be a bit, a bit of water damage. But uh, yeah, iPad. Let me get the rest of it. There's something else on there as well. So it's all. It's just like what Claire's is. Claire's is like that. Well, why? Not why, that would, why would that be in the river? I know, I know. Why would that be in the river actually? Because even if it had been nicked, somebody would have had that. I don't get that. I, I mean, you've got some kids really, I'm right? Nice to sign. That parents can't afford like things like that. Exactly. You know, give it away. Give it, yeah, give it away. Even if you're a ne'er do well, you can't be an idiot as well brain dead. Just give it to somebody. If you've nicked it, you guys thieving, you nick that stuff. Just give it to somebody who's deserving or needs one. How's about that? <laughs> Don't know. Big roddy thing. Another big roddy thing. Oh, there's a bag here. Ooh. 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 <laughs> is it going to be full of nails again? They normally are, aren't they? Um, no, this is like... It's got summers in it. What's that there? It's I'm intrigued to see what was on oh. the Did you see it? Did you <laughs> see that folks? How that shot from there to there on that magnet? That's a bit it's a bit like my missus when I tell her I've got a tenor in pocket. Just gone. <laughs> I got mugged for my credit card this morning. The price are going out. Anyway, two people. Enough of my marital woes. <laughs> is there more pennies uh, well, in there? Is that? I think it's just mud and stuff. Yeah, it's just silty oh, mud. So, there was so just that, that two p was in that, that bag. Was just that two pence then? Just that two pence. <laughs> and, and my iPad. Don't forget my iPad. You know, with Nigel's iPad. Right, guys, it's come, it's come to the end of the day. And... Uh, that's Kirsty. There's Michael. We've got Marie. We've got Foxy. Look at me. Well, I'll tell you what, it's been another amazing day, really. We've all had something, haven't we? It's always an amazing day. It is. It is. And Michael's to call the scrap, so there's no scrap here, so nobody can mow. There you go. So thank you to Michael and Kirsty for taking the scrap once again. And to see you on the... Well, I don't know there's no fines because we can't get nothing because the police took everything. So, to see you on the video, guys, and uh, have a nice night. Bye! Bye! The Fines Roundup. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining again on one of our premieres. Wherever you are in the world, thank you very much. Hello to all the new subscribers, because we've had a load. I know, yeah. I think we've had like 400 new subs. And there was lots of new names on the live on Sunday as well. Yes. Fantastic. So you will be on the wheel in a minute, which we're going to do. Yeah. Let's see who's won the little <laughs> giveaway. Um, so we didn't have many fines on that Sunday, because we went to try a different bridge. We did go back down to Gordon Bridge afterwards, didn't oh, we? Yeah, and, uh... and we had a bit of success. Yeah, yeah. Heard of that again. Another phone in from the police to come and collect everything. Um, but the things we could keep, I've got here. The things I want to keep anyway. And Kirsty and Michael have still got the owls grenade. Yes. Because it was inert. That was inert. Um, we got the top blown off it completely. So yeah. it just got the remains. So yeah, nice little find that they could keep. Not very often you can find grenades you can keep. 
Um, but I'll show you the three vines that we've kept. Now, if you remember, guys, we found a knife. And uh, it's a Smith & Wesson. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And it says on it, it says Rory, happy 18th. Now, on the video, you'll see where I've probably said, you know, if it's yours, claim it. But I don't, nobody's come forward and that'll be it. That just, just looks like it was scratched in now, doesn't it? I don't know. Is it? It's not actually... No, it's not engraved, it's written, it's, oh. it's scratched in. Mm. But it says Rory, happy 18th. Mm. But yeah, um, I'll give it long enough now, no one's come forward, so I'll just probably just use this to clean items off with, or cut in the rope, if we ever lose a magnet, God forbid. Mr Perry, oh, I might as well stick at this bridge for now. So uh, I had a, a wheel, if you remember. Now, I like these, because I'm going to keep this for the garden. You do like that, don't you? Yeah. Um, it's off some kind of old cart, munitions cart, perhaps a, a wooden cart for fruit, we don't know, anything like that. But uh, it could even be off a, you know, like a sack truck, an old one. Mm. But, yeah, been nice to paint up and just dump in the garden. It is, that. really nice that is. Yeah, so a uh, little bit of history there, that, that's not, that's old, should I say. It's not modern. So that's a nice piece where I'm going to keep. And... Mr. Perry pulled up a, a weird piece of crud um, and I didn't think it was a piece of crud you could break at first, I thought it was like iron ore but he cracked it open and how come that? Now we believe this, going by the measurements and the weight so far this is the end of a barbell cannon shot so you'd have had your normal round cannonballs, but they did start experimenting with um, cannonballs that are shaped like dog bones, basically, like weights, like that, with a stem in between, and they used to spin like that as, as they flew through the air. They've got ones with chains on, stuff like that, so we do believe that that is what they call a barbell cannonball shot, uh, obviously missing the stem and the other one, the other side. So it's a shame it wasn't all, but still a nice piece. Um, Mr. Penny thought it was a doorknob at first, but if I dropped on your toe, you'd know about it. <laughs> it's definitely not a weightlifting weight because they would have a slight flat bottom on two sides to stop it rolling when they put them on the ground, and they would usually have the number, like the uh, the amount of weight it weighs, on there as well. And this is completely plain. So I'm going to go for bar shell cannon bar. Which is mm. old, proper yes, old. Definitely. Right guys, so we're now going to do the giveaway. I am going to send the giveaway to your address in this box, which is an online magnet box, but we've got our magnet in. Well, I think there's not a lot in there compared to the size of the box, but there's all the bits we might that are going to be might, won. We might find a smaller box. We might find a smaller box. <laughs> I'll just put them in there for show. Sure. But yeah, that. um, all that's in there anyway guys, you've seen it on the picture of what you're going to win. There's some nice little relics in there for a collector that's just starting out. Or so, a collector. We, so it's time for... It's time for the, the Peaky's Wheelie Good Giveaway Wheel. Ta -da! So I'm just going to click onto my computer here guys. Ooh. Good luck everybody, there's, you know there's lots on there. There is. There, lots there's lots. loads on this world, this yeah. relic. Look at all them. <laughs> so, good luck to everybody. Um, you're going to win that box with, well, with, with all the bits in. And good luck. So let's spin that wheel, guys. Good luck, everyone. Ooh. <laughs> I, don't, I really get excited when this is on. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Scott Bailey. Scott Bailey. Scott Bailey, oh. congratulations. If you can get in touch with Marie on the link down below now. Yeah. Uh, send us your address. It's completely confidential. It won't go now further. Um, that'll be sent out to you. Yeah. ASAP. <laughs> I'm not sure whether they're, they're UK or international, but it doesn't matter. No, that's it. If you, well, obviously we'll find out by the address. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. So a big well done to Scott Bailey. Um, unfortunately, we have to give um, till next Thursday is the limit that so basically what I'm saying is if Scott doesn't come forward and claim it it will have to roll over so get in touch so you've got till next Thursday to get in touch Scott 
um, and, and claim your prize. But that's that. So I'd like to say a big thank you personally and from the rest of the PQ Dippers uh, for all the new subscribers. Believe me, you're not going to be um, let down. We've got some big things coming to this channel. Oh yes. One of the ideas is absolutely amazing. It's just going to involve everybody. Um, it's going to also give you the chance to see a bit more behind the scenes. Should I say? Mm. Yeah, perhaps. But look out for that. There'll be a big announcement on that, guys. On all my platforms we're running. It'll be on um, Facebook, YouTube. So we'll, we'll get it all out there anyway. But join us on Sunday Live. Because is there going to be another giveaway? Or? Yes, I've, oh. got the, I've got the giveaway here. It's, a, it's, not as, it's probably not as good as that giveaway. Show, shall we show them on Sunday? I'm going to show them now. Always going to show you now. So, the Peaky Dippers are very famous for finding a certain item, guys, aren't they? So, um, I'm not going to tell you what it is until I lift it up. But the next giveaway, if you come on the live on Sunday at 3 pm British time, um, you will be in the draw to win a Peaky Spoon! <laughs> <laughs> and that has been painted, stickered, and varnished by my very own hands. So you will win a peaky spoon. And this is originally a Sheffield spoon, but we got out of Sheffield. Right. So it is actually what we found. So that's just gonna tie over next week at least anyway. And then we can start getting some more stuff together for more giveaways, guys. But the more we get out the canals and the rivers that we can reuse and people enjoy and, and like, then the more we can give away. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, Sunday, Marie, where we're going, we need to be putting some good history out so we can do giveaways with it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But that's going to be the next uh, giveaway, guys. And I have got about four more of these spoons, not this big, but four more spoons that I might do this with. Um, so I am starting to collect all the spoons now. Weirdly. <laughs> and now, because I want the spoons, we aren't final. Exactly. So anyway guys, big love to all of you, like and subscribe if you haven't already, share the videos, that really helps us, thumbs up, thumbs down, I ain't bothered if you put a thumbs down, don't bother me at all, um, and comment, so shall see you soon guys, see you on Sunday.